welcome back for another video we are excited to be back like it feels so good to be making videos again if you guys are wondering exactly where we are because this is about planning our wedding while living in the van we're not currently in the van so if you haven't seen our van build this is it right here now we are actually in our other vehicle that we picked up from california when we um went out there we're going to do the video in here because it's really hot today yeah it's crazy hot we want to thank everybody for all of the support that we got in our last video if you haven't seen our last video we talked about narcissistic family and we broke that down our hearts really go out to everyone else who's dealing with the same thing we want it to be like like transparent and share yeah. our story a little bit yeah we just kind of to. let other people know that it it is out there mm -hmm. and it's a very real thing that does happen we appreciate everyone who reached out we've also received um gifts on our wedding registry we thank you so much for that uh, we really appreciate it we yeah. actually go on our honeymoon in 10 days so mm -hmm. it'll be actually nine days when you guys see this video yeah. it'll be nine no is it nine Oh my god now i don't know it might be eight i don't know we're excited either way we're super 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 ready to go we have been shopping too much but <laughs> but in this video we're going to talk about the fun stuff like the stuff we enjoyed about planning our wedding and basically how we did it while living in a van what made it easier for us was definitely using websites like zola green envelope the knot uh, yeah, those are some great websites that you can use. We personally use Zola and Green Envelope, but I've heard other people use it in the knot and they like that a lot. Uh, Green Envelope, we use to send out our save the dates. For us, it was better than sending out paper over and over again. We only wanted to send paper out one time and that was gonna be our physical invitations. So since we lived and met in Hawaii, we wanted to make sure that we had a celebration in Hawaii mm -hmm. and that was our first ceremony. Yeah, so yeah. we spent a lot of time in Honolulu and a lot of time on the East Shore, the mm -hmm. North Shore, and just had a great time. Mm -hmm. uh, the ceremony itself was on the East Shore. Which, yes. For those of you that have not gone to the East Shore, you have to get to the East Shore. Definitely get away from Waikiki. So yeah. Sherwood Forest uh, is where we is where we had it. Now the only thing you can no longer have oh. weddings on that beach that we were at. Yeah, they passed a whole bill basically banning certain ceremonies and parties and different things like that on certain beaches to preserve them. So. Oh, and that ceremony was a commitment ceremony. So we did not get officially married there. However, they did give us a certificate. It was in Hawaiian. Mm -hmm. We love that. We love that. We cannot oh, wait yeah. to get that framed. If you want to stay somewhere that's really inexpensive, stay at the Waikiki Malia by Outrigger. Mm -hmm. We'll also post that That's link. a beautiful hotel. It's a beautiful hotel. It was very inexpensive. For six days, it all came out to $674. We just, I just loved everything about that place. They were extremely sweet. They gave us um, chocolates and oh, yeah, um, a car. Yeah, yeah, the staff was incredible. We love the pool area. We love the jacuzzi area. The parking situation there? That garage is scary. <laughs> That's the only thing I will say. Like that, yeah, I wish we would have recorded that garage because these cars in front of us were on three wheels trying to get around these corners. It was so. It was so bad. It was so scary. To, it's it's low. Like they yeah. they like uh, tight corners and yeah. So it's very tight and it's very nerve wracking. So the flights, uh, yeah. we got our flights from LA and there were 250 round trip per person. We got flights from Sacramento to LA for $50 each. Now listen, this is this is it right here. Mm -hmm. We got flights from Sacramento to LA for $50 each. We had enough time in our flight leaving that they basically needed two seats or more. Yeah. And I think we got $400 each to give up our seats for a $100 flight, $50 round trip for both of us. We got eight hundred dollars on yep. our way to our ceremony. Yeah. So. So that was great. So our next ceremony was in Sonoma, our Sonoma wedding. In love. We were going to have our ceremony in Sonoma Square, um, but when I reached out to the like one of the people on the board, she told us about another place called the Secret Garden that was actually in the community center. And that was the perfect, perfect place for us. We fell in love with it. So if you guys are thinking about having a Napa Valley wedding, um, Napa Valley slash Sonoma wine country type wedding, keep in mind the Secret Garden, that was only like 4 or 50 or so for like two hours. 
which I think is so much less than, than anywhere else you can get married in wine country. Anywhere else anywhere. in a wine country is insane. I mean, it's like 3,000 minimum as far as having a ceremony there. They were super helpful. Um, they had the arch already, which I don't even know if they knew they had an arch. We were just searching no, around just the garden the and we found the arch and we, <laughs> we put the arch up and they were like, oh, I guess we have an arch, which is much better than renting because they want maybe 75 to 100 just to rent an arch. Yeah. Uh, we rented our chairs from Eagles Rental, which is literally 10 minutes away from the place. We picked our chairs up ourselves because it was only 25 chairs, yeah, it 20 wasn't chairs. Yeah, that many, so we could actually fit them right so we picked our chairs up ourselves the garden it was beautiful enough and it was such a small um, group of people we didn't feel the need to decorate past just the natural um, greenery that was already there the way we had it set up the square is in the middle of all of our events for our ceremony so we had basically our secret garden right here the square is here if this is all making sense our secret garden right here we walk down to the square after our ceremony and across the street from the square is where we had our wine tasting. So yeah, this is a, a wine cellar that we had actually gone to when we were checking out Sonoma. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just loved it. The whole interior is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a cigar lounge vibe. On the inside. On the inside, yeah. yeah but then the outside has this nice wood shaded balcony. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like backed up to a restaurant actually. We made custom menus for us. Yeah, so really, we'll show you guys that too. That was that a nice too. surprise. Oh my god! Yeah, we that. had no idea they were going to congratulate us on the menus. That part we did not have anything to do with, which yeah. our family thought we did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we didn't have anything to do with that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but so yeah, the charcuterie really, board was really good. We spent quite a bit of time there. Mm -hmm. um, we had a live for you guys. Actually, yes, right there. if you haven't seen the live, the first one where the audio was good. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. way we had um we did a live that was right there. there. That yes. was great. Yeah. We got some great photos. Yes, we had some really great photos. It was everyone who was there was it just meant so much to us. If you saw our last video, there were people who weren't there while we were on the live. We had people asking about why you didn't see his family. Yeah. Um, and we never really addressed that, but if you watched the last video, that's why you didn't see his family. At that point, we oh, had yeah. invited um, two of my best friends. Yes. So they came to support me with that. Yes, which meant, oh my God. So oh, yeah, no, that was as great. we like, as we said before in the last video, things kept getting worse and yeah. we're not getting into that. However, right before, a week before, our wedding we found out that two people were not coming so I called his friend Leon at the very last minute he lives in Nevada yeah up in Reno yeah. I called him and I said you know this is what's going on unfortunately we're having family issues and um, I just can't even imagine Sean not having somebody there to support him and he came without a doubt like, it's a week out from there he has what maybe a five-hour drive um, yes, yeah, probably. Least, yeah, yeah, like a five-hour drive. He um, called off of work. He booked his his room uh, in Sonoma. He drove down, and he still gave us a crazy gift. So it's like and stayed till last. And minute. stayed till last yeah. minute. He was the first one there, and he was the last one to leave. So mm -hmm. super grateful to Leon. So we also invited his best friend Zach, mm -hmm. um, and that was just incredible. Yeah, he drove down too because he he's drove down in also, California. Yeah, he's also in Sacramento. Yeah. So he drove down. Um, in two hours so we're extremely grateful for him and then of course all of our family who flew over from philly um to be there we are super happy so we really wanted to give everybody the best experience yeah. and so from there so back to my little diagram thingy um <laughs> so we had our our ceremony here we come down we have our wine tasting here this is the square if you forgot um and then so from the wine tasting all you do is cross through the square and that's where we go to dinner and so when we cross through the square yeah we'll we'll put the video in here I'm yes sure. yes so now you can see what happened when we crossed through the square because it what, was what we thought was going like, to be a bad thing because yeah. we had so many plans for the square we wanted to take pictures in the square Come to find out, it was literally the same day as they were celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, which so, Sonoma Square is great for any kind of uh, farmer's market. They mm -hmm. have a lot of uh, festivals in there. Mm -hmm. They also have 
a huge Mexican community mm -hmm. and culture Beautiful. throughout the whole Hawaiian country. They they showed up for their Cinco de Mayo festival. It was great. Mm -hmm. Like everybody was having a good time, mm -hmm. and Sonoma was just a whole vibe that day. It was Everyone a whole vibe. Yes. Yeah, so we walked through Sonoma, and this is what happened. <laughs> incredible like that was just the icing on the cake we were already yeah. lit from just having a wine tasting <laughs> so then going through uh the square and having them just cheer us on and they were excited they wanted us to get on the stage and dance but yeah. needed to get over to uh our next venue which was where we were having our um private poolside dinner the things that happen while you're planning a wedding Maybe a month before we were about to have our ceremony, we have been so busy and dealing with so much drama that I wasn't even keeping up with all of the people like I needed to. Um, and I had received emails from our last venue in Sonoma that we were having our family dinner at and I just didn't get to them because I'm thinking we've basically gone over everything I don't really yeah. need to respond about I don't know what else more they would need from me come to find out they were trying to contact us because the venue had sold to another owner we had dinner in, um, in October we spoke to the owner she said that she was retiring but everything was going to stay the same yeah. all of the cooks were going to stay the same everything was going to be the same so don't worry these new people are coming in you guys are going to be good yeah. you're going to be in great hands and then this new lady her name is Nicole uh, it was called formerly known as the Depot Hotel It's now yeah. the Depot restaurant um, she I called her to find out, hey, sorry, a lot has been going on. I missed your emails, trying to see what's happening and make sure we're all on the same page. Well, she tells me that um, basically the other owner sold to her mm -hmm. and that nothing is the same. There yeah. aren't any cooks. There's so much that needs to be done. They're going to honor contracts for the Sarah, like they were going to honor our contract, but um, what was it? Like they were, they were going to honor contracts, but at first she was trying to say basically we didn't have a big enough deposit down. Mm -hmm. um, but she did realize that the other owner was still giving prices, which she said are like from the 90s. Yeah. So she was almost telling me a month before we were supposed to be in Sonoma that we might have to find another place to go. <laughs> No. No. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Bridezilla is a real thing. And I told her, um, Nicole, that's not going to happen. So whatever we can do to be within the price that we were quoted and still uh, have our ceremony there, then that's what, that's what we should do. Because we're not going anywhere else. We searched long and hard for this place. Our payment is a contract, no matter uh, what amount it is. That's what we were told we had to be had to pay, so that's what we paid. I'm sorry that we didn't put down four grand or five grand of a deposit like other people in Sonoma, but that's not what we're, we're doing. And she was just like, okay, okay, all right. We're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it happen. Um, we got everybody, it still was plated. We got everybody um, basically their own food. It was between yeah. swordfish roasted chicken um, yeah. they had a solid to start everybody got uh, champagne yeah. for a toast yeah. um, everybody got to choose their own dessert we had music playing and the best part about this was that because they sold the restaurant 
and they wasn't open in a restaurant part yet and they were still only honoring all of the contracts from the last owner we didn't even have to have any gas there mm -hmm. it was completely private just for our family um poolside we have the video we'll uh incorporate here Yeah, we wanted to really just give that experience for how we like to travel and how we like to do things. And um, yeah, so that was basically Sonoma. That was um, <laughs> but that was Sonoma. And so then we drove back. Okay, y'all. This is separate from living in the van and planning a wedding. But um, but this car that we're in right here. We drove this car back to the East Coast because now we're planning our reception in Philadelphia and we needed to basically just get this car over there like we said we had a lot of family drama going on and it's just better to just taking this out of the equation taking it out of the equation not having that be a thing mm -hmm. that we have to even worry about um, but so we decide well first of all you said we were not going to drive through Colorado because at the time he was like it's gonna be snow during this time in May or whatever uh -huh. but then what happened you checked and no, I was checking the weather all the way through. Like literally every, I'd say 20 miles, mm -hmm. I put a pin down on my weather app. Mm -hmm. Everything was good. It was like 50 degrees at the lowest, no snow, no rain, mm -hmm. just clouds. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we went through, went through Nevada, uh, totally different way than we've been before mm -hmm. so i think now we've pretty much been on every highway <laughs> in nevada <laughs> uh, we basically went straight through the middle sideways yeah kind of toward great basin which mm -hmm. was the plan but we got there at night so we couldn't go there um mm -hmm. but the mountains and everything were gorgeous all the way leading up to there Super. took some great photos Mm -hmm. Yeah, we with, had like, like this whole photo shoot <laughs> yeah. after getting married with my just married jacket on that I knew I had to have from David Sprito when I first saw it. Mm -hmm. That jacket is official. Love that jacket so freaking much. I want to wear it every day. Um, I think I'm wearing it. I am going to wear it. I am bringing it to the whole to uh, our honeymoon. I want to mm. wear it in the airport. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we had like a whole photo shoot there. Mm hmm. And then. We went through Utah. Yes. At night. Yeah. Then we were going the long way through Colorado. Mm hmm. And uh, everything was fine for a good minute. Mm hmm. And then you start to climb, start to climb through the Rockies a little bit. And for probably an hour, it was raining. Mm hmm. In Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. And then after, which my weather app literally showed no rain in the exact spot we were in in that moment. And Sean no was rain. so it was tired. It was he yeah, was so was tired, so I was driving point. at this point, and it was getting to a point where I couldn't even see. And no, I'm tired which, as well. I couldn't see, but the the snow was falling at this weird angle, and it looked like, well, it was snow rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't just rain. It was snow and rain, mm. which was good at the time because it wasn't sticking. And it was falling in a way that it looked like Star Trek or something. Like it, Yeah, when, I don't, we were talking about this possibly being a West Coast thing when it snows but literally Possibly. when you see the rain go from here to like slowly starting to look like like yeah like the hyperdrive yeah and it's like 
going past you and you're like right. is this snow like, right it we was could so crazy. see it transition and sometimes it go in and back out and go in and back right. out and i have some videos of it and it's probably not gonna look as bad in a video of um no. not the not the snow I th we did try to record that but it, it, i don't think it picked up that well but you can see the snow in colorado but it still doesn't because when it was really bad we were petrified so there was no way we could record because yeah, no. we were just trying to survive and trying to live and not be the car mm -hmm. in a ditch with just married on the back window <laughs> no, like real. that was like our biggest concern yeah, that's a whole movie because right we were the only people out there with a car everybody else had four by fours and I'm sure everybody else but us had chains too which we saw a lot of warning signs for that if we didn't have chains we were going to get fined but and everything else point, like that we can't pull over. We can't pull, you over. pull over. If we you stop, get we're in stuck. The ditch anyway. Yeah. So we stop. We stuck. So that would have probably y'all would have probably enjoyed that. But next time we'll just put the camera up on the car yeah. and get both both sides of it. Probably a dash cam. Yeah. But we cannot pull the camera out while we're going through that in a moment. So no, because at that point I was driving. Yeah, we switched and, before uh, it got really bad. Yeah, so I was driving through the snow for a lot of that. Well, that whole second half and luckily they had finally broken is that how that said whatever the sun came up and we were already like in the thick of the rockies at that point right like we had just passed or we were just coming up on aspen mm -hmm. like that's high high elevation especially when it's snowing right just had to change out the laundry throw everything in the dryer mm -hmm. um but yeah, we were driving just up and up and up and just really hoping it was eventually going to start going back down because it was like, we just can't keep driving through the snow. Mm -hmm. The road's getting worse. The snow's getting harder. It's, it's sticking to the ground. The highway is not built for this. They haven't really salted it. Haven't done they anything. did some of it, but it wasn't so, enough for how hard and fast it was falling. No, it, it basically it left was dropping, a strip. It was dropping pillows of snow. Yeah, it just it, it it left so a strip of the salted road in mm -hmm. the middle. Mm -hmm. and that was it. So most of the left lane was just covered in snow. And ice. And ice. So we ended up, if you're looking at the top of the car like this, we did this. Like we literally, I can't even, I don't think my wrist can even do justice to it yeah. we we almost did a whole turn on one side but and then a whole rotation on the other side yeah and then correct out. well you corrected it very well i was very nervous because i don't know that and i'm not, I'm not he driven snow in like snow that, like yeah. that which is why i wanted to because i've driven through many snowstorms mm -hmm. with like literally no lanes mm -hmm. um i have slid i have done it all and i've corrected a lot of times but I was way too tired mm -hmm. to drive anymore. So he was driving, so I was a tad bit nervous, but he corrected so well. I was so freaking proud of him and so happy that like he saved it, our lives because be so we bad. went we went across both lanes. And, and luckily we, enough- There's a wall on one side and yeah, a ditch on the other. Yeah, luckily enough, there was no um, other cars coming yeah. past us at the time. Yeah, because we probably would've hit him with the tail of the car. Yeah, and then this is a Lexus. So it basically had like the correct yeah. Like on it, like the correction thing. Yeah. So. And I don't know that I've had. A, I don't know that any of my other cars had. Um, no, I've had it set I don't think before any of my cars had that. in rain, and it basically just takes an extra like three or four seconds. Yeah, and it, then it like, does this. Crazy you gotta, correct. you gotta hold it for that time, and then it goes beep, 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 and yeah, somehow figures this track. Which scared out. the hell out of me because I didn't know what that meant. Uh -huh. <laughs> I thought that was like a like a engine dead type of beep, 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 like like all power is being lost to the car uh -huh. i had no idea what that sound was it was just way too much all in a moment i'm just sitting here like but the only problem with that if we had slipped and been facing a wall and had done that probably would have just hit the wall <laughs> so it was good basically Everybody i got it under straight. control close enough to straight that yeah. when it caught traction we yeah. were able to actually go in the right direction and then from there we had our hearts in our throats. <laughs> my heart was in my even ass. More, <laughs> even more. Throat my behind. We don't know if this is going to have to be broken up, uh, but if it does have to be broken up, then we'll tell you guys in part two. So in part two, guys, we're going to talk about basically everything we did for the reception. 
um, and why we had to be like in Philadelphia planning this part because we wanted to design everything ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that will be in um, the next video. Yeah. Yeah. So we hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, please like it if you've gotten this far, mm -hmm. um, put on your post notifications and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah and go check out our other videos yes definitely go check out our other videos and all of the links to everything we mentioned is going to be in the description box as well yeah